spooky, let me tell ya, but I'm definitely intrigued. Everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my June TBR for 2022. If you are new to this channel then you don't know this but my mom actually picks my TBR every month and she always has a fun little theme to go along with the books that she chose for the month. So this month's theme is summer. At the end of the month I am officially on summer vacation because I work at a school board so we get the two months off that the kids get off and I am so stinking excited but without further ado let us get started. The first book that she chose is How to Make a Wish by Ashley Herring Blake and this is because I wish it was summer now. I really do. I, I wish it so hard but I don't know too much about this other than it's about a girl who is constantly moving around with her mom who is always looking for the next best man in her life. The girl's name is Grace. She is trying to decide whether or not to go off to college and study piano but it's always been her and her mom against the world so she's not too sure if she's going to go with that plan. But then she meets a girl named Eva and she spends more time with her. She starts to like her a little bit and then she discovers that Eva likes girls as well so that opens up a whole bunch of possibilities for her but then her mom meets a new man and she's talking about moving again and so Grace has to decide whether or not to choose her mom or choose this new girl that she is falling for and it's like the story of that. I recently read Delilah Green Doesn't Care by this author and was obsessed with it. I've never read any of their other books so I believe that this is her debut but I could be very very wrong on that front. I have seen some pretty good reviews for this so we are intrigued. Next is Summers of Supernova by Darcy Woods. This was chosen because it literally says summer in the title but this has something to do with a girl whose mom is an astrologer so she's very into the stars as well and she's always avoided the fifth house in the stars which is love and relationships but then she meets a boy and starts falling for him but his astrology chart is all out of whack and doesn't line up with hers and so she has to decide if she's going to go into this romance that's doomed based off of the astrology charts or not and it's like the story of that. I'm assuming just very contemporary light and fluffy which are always great for the summer so hopefully we enjoy this one. Next up is Perfect Little Children by Sophie Hanna. This one is because I will have to say goodbye to all my perfect little children at the school which I'm very sad about but this one follows a woman who was best friends with somebody named Flora. They got in a fight I guess and now it's 12 years later they don't talk but her two children are playing a game at a park that's near her old best friend's house so she decides to drive by so she sees She's Flora and she is telling her two children to get out of the car but the only thing is is that they are the exact same as 12 years ago. Same age, look the same, tiny tiny tiny, doesn't make sense. So it's her being like what the heck why do these children look the same 12 years later? Spooky, let me tell ya, but I'm definitely intrigued. Next up is Summer's Edge by Dana Mele and this one is again because it says summer in the title. This follows a group of friends whose other friend died in a burning building and it was reported as an accident but things are coming to light that suggest that it wasn't actually an accident so all the friends are trying to figure out what actually happened to her that night and it's like the story of that. So you know, thriller, we love it. This is also a chapter's indigo pick for the month or something so a lot of people will be reading it this month so at least there will be a lot of talk about it. Next up is The End of Her by Sherry LaPena. This is because if summer does not come it will be the end of me. I will die. This one follows a couple who are living a great life but then a woman from the husband's past arrives on the doorstep and starts saying that the husband had a wife before who died mysteriously so now the wife of the present is like what the heck is going on I trust you but now I don't trust you so now they have to figure out what happened to the wife and if Mr. Husband was responsible. I'm a fan of Sherry LaPena's writing I usually like her stories so I'm definitely intrigued, definitely excited to pick this one up. Next up is Just Breathe by Cammie McGovern. This one is because my mother is constantly telling me to just breathe. There's only three more weeks until summer, but it seems so far away. But this one follows a boy who is the senior class president battling cystic fibrosis and then another girl who's at the school who's more quiet and reserved. They become friends and realize that they can be more open with each other than they can with the rest of the student body and it's like they're 
their story. So again, typical contemporary, probably like coming of age, feel good kind of story, which are again, always perfect for summer. So hopefully we'll get to this one as well. Next is One Italian Summer by Carrie Stainton and this is again because it says summer. This follows a group of sisters whose dad recently passed away. They go to Italy every year so they decide to still go this year and it's basically them traveling Italy but things are happening, people are falling in love, there's a wedding, you know, all this stuff. But again, probably your typical contemporary. It is fairly short as well so I should be able to speed through this and a great summer read. I'll read it when I'm like tanning or something because I'll have so much Free time because I'm not working for two months. And then the final book that she chose is Come Away With Me by Karma Brown. This has been on my TBR for years and years and years. I don't know, I still haven't picked it up, but this one is because maybe, maybe we'll get to go on vacation. So Come Away With Me is my mother saying it to me, we're going on vacation, please, for the love of God. This follows a woman who was pregnant and then a patch of black ice causes the car to swerve. She ends up losing her baby and she blames her husband. So in order to build back their relationship and to try to come to terms with their loss, they decide to start a jar of spontaneity. And it's like that story. And it's, I'm assuming, going to be a lot of grief and dealing with that and, you know, those themes. But Again, this has been on my TBR forever, so maybe this month we'll actually get to it. Alright everybody, so those were my TBR books that my mother chose out for the month of June. This month I am working until the 30th, so pretty much the end of June, but I have Sundays off now, so maybe some reading will be done on Sundays, we'll see. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>